Well, hello. I'm Miss Karen. This is Lucy Poo. Thanks for coming to see us. And we have today Angham Balatafa. I keep wanting to say Angham. Uh, here in the South, they would pronounce this Angham. I swear, but it's Angham. So we know that this is supposed to smell like Burberry Goddess, right? Let me take the top off of this. So when you take the top tops off and you do this, they do smell exactly alike. So in the air like that, you okay, sweetie? In the air like that, they do smell exactly alike, but let me show you. This one I've had for a long time and used just a little bit. This one I've had for a short time and used a lot. Now, why would that be? So, the Ang Hum is much more wearable. Even though they smell the same in the air, the dry down and the wear is very different. And let me tell you why. Let me start with the notes in this one. In the Latafa Ang Hum, the notes are the top are ginger, pink pepper, and mandarin. The mid is praline, lavender, cacao, and jasmine. And the base is vanilla, amber, and musk. Remember, amber. So I didn't even look up the notes in the Burberry Goddess. I didn't need to because the, the whole dry down, I put it on this wrist. Oh, yeah. The whole dry down, <laughs> amber. So that amber is a strong note. So that amber makes it an occasion perfume. I don't have the occasions to wear this. I don't have the occasions to wear Burberry Goddess. Um, Angum is smoother, brighter. It's office appropriate, shopping appropriate, it's everything appropriate. So it's a really nice uh, lavender vanilla, like a citrusy lavender vanilla. I would wear this all year. I think a lot of people think like lavender, jasmine and all that, vanilla, amber. Um, they would think it's for fall and winter and it is very appropriate for fall and winter, but I would wear this all the time. Latava did a great job with this. They turned something the scent of something that's an occasion into something you can wear all the time and every day. And it's that amber note. So, like I said, that amber, yeah, I wouldn't wear this to the office. I wouldn't wear this shopping. Maybe to a party. Um, a winter party at that. So, I wouldn't have very many occasions to wear this. I mean, me and Lucy, we have house parties. We do the house parties, Lucy. <laughs> Could wear it with the Lucy party. That's pretty much it. But the Ang um, I can wear all the time, which is really appreciated. It is a feminine scent. Um, I would not gift this to a guy. Um, I wouldn't want to smell it on a guy. Maybe there's some guys that like lavender, but this isn't the same kind of lavender as in um, what is it? Vintage radio. Vintage radio smells great on a guy. If you're a guy that wants a lavender scent, Vintage Radio. Smells awesome. Really, really good. But this, this is, um, yeah, this is a feminine scent. So that's what makes these, makes these different. The, the dry down, it makes this wearable. That amber note is too prevalent in this. Makes this an occasion perfume. And, um, yeah, Burberry Goddess is an occasion perfume to me. Maybe there's some people that want to wear it all day, every day. And, you know, in some climates, I can see that. Um, I spent most of my life in Alaska. The climate's very different than here in North Carolina. Alaska's dry and cold. And Amber Notes, yeah, maybe I'd want to wear this all day there. But um, I'm here in North Carolina. It's warmer. It's more humid. And the... Uh huh, works great here. So it works great for me, works great here. And just really, really wearable. Mm, they did a good job. So Latafa's been doing good. We'll see what Paris Corner has coming up for us, right? <laughs> Alrighty.
This is Lucy Approved. It's a perfume that is Lucy Approved. So thanks for coming to see us. Give us a like or something. All right. Bye.